Um, of course, we all see these people out there that are a little bit crazy at the moment and they're at, at the world and they're screaming and they're gluing their hands to the racetracks and throwing soup at paintings and God knows what, dressing up as women and... Uh, um, and where did that all start, right? Like, the, as we know, that they that they're the crazy people, right? They're not the normal ones. But we have this phenomena of lunatic asylums. Okay, this is a lunatic asylum, and as you can see, it's a mud flutter. You can see all these windows at the bottom that have been bricked in. Um, it's got the bell, the belfry on the top, right? The tower, the dome, copper dome, of course, right? Because it's because it's, it's a lunatic asylum. This is how you build them. And this is, apart from you know, the fact that these are everywhere as well, and they're always massive, they've always got all these, these features that just does not belong on a lunatic asylum. Like, this is a lunatic asylum. Seriously. I think this is where they send the insane politicians. But, I mean, look at that, right? Are you serious? And... and and so it's just such a giveaway that this was not built as an asylum, which means these were empty buildings that were found and that because of their size and everything, they were useful to lock up the people who, who didn't agree with the way that the rulers wanted, wanted to take this realm, right? They didn't agree with, with, you know, the working in factories 12 hours a day and doing what you're told and all this. So they locked them up in these places lunatic asylums and these again <laughs> look, at, look at this one look at this this is and and they want us to believe this will be the story that this was built as a lunatic asylum. i mean it I mean, what is that is that a castle or is it a cathedral or is it a <laughs> cathedral <laughs> is that how i say it um, look over here. I can't zoom in, unfortunately, but you can kind of see what's going on here with this doorway. I mean, for lunatic, I mean, the only thing lunatic about this is building buildings like this as lunatic asylums. Look at this. Looks like it needs a bit of repair, but I mean, seriously. Look at the and they and this is this is what we find everywhere. This is again another mud flutter. It's buildings like this that are the lunatic asylums. The one in in Perth, in Fremantle, it's massive. It's it's so big, and of course they've you know over the years they've defacaded it, so now it's looking more like a you know plain brutalist building. But this is they were all they're all red brickers. They were all these intricate buildings with all the bits, all the antiquity parts, all the features, and they were massive. They were so big another mud flutter right bell towers spires for a lunatic asylum i mean look at, look at the size of these places i mean and it just sort of shows you the mentality of these people who wish to rule us right like they find these huge magnificent buildings and the best use they've got you know to that will help them out and their plans is to <laughs> To use them as jails, basically, right? I mean, because that's all they were. They were just jails for people that they couldn't, um, you know, put put a crime against, that they couldn't arrest. They, they'd just say, well, they're crazy. Then you don't need to arrest them, right? You just throw them in. That one's, well, it's actually pretty big, right? It's actually three stories there, but not as big as most of them. Uh, okay, so uh, lots of abandoned lunatic asylums as well, like lots, which is another thing, right? Why did they go out of use? Why did they need them for so big? Why were there so many lunatics, but for just such a short time? What was the mental stress they were under? I mean, look at this. Look at this half dome here. This looks like it's an old observatory up there. I mean... Uh, built to house lunatics it's a lunacy i tell you look see old world old world buildings oh i've left the chair that's that's where the lunatic sits and that's where the the lunatic with the word sits and they both converse and try and tell each other that the other one is crazy 
quite interesting. Oh, I guess I guess that's so people couldn't jump off the stairs. Gosh. I mean, but I mean, look at these. They're, they're all the same. Look at them. They're, they're just look, and just like I said, just left to rot. They've done their job. Done their job as the jail. I mean, look at the size of that. And I mean, what's this for? Is this for the crazy person who so I can go and yell at night time at the moon? I mean, how would they explain that? Um, so there you go. Abandoned asylums. So this is actually from a book by Matt Van der Velde. Veldi. So there you go. Um, and I think these are all internals. So he, he's one. Look at the lunatic asylum. What? You're telling me that's not Hogwarts. Look at this. Massive dome. It's all just falling apart, though. I wish I could zoom in. Look at that. You can see all the brickwork of how they installed these portal windows. Can you see there's a circle of bricks around there? Oh, my God. And just in case you weren't inspired enough, I mean, look at the size of that tower. Seriously. Compared to, this is a, what, one, two, three, four, five stories to here. Like, can you imagine the structure they would have to build in here to support that? That thing would have to go be basically hooked straight in and under the ground so it didn't fall over and take the building with it. I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of engineering, right, and architecture. I mean, look how many of them are abandoned. Here's another one. Look at this looking like, you know, it's a parliamentary building. Look at that. One, two, three. Belfries. Bell towers. Oh, with domes. How do they explain this, right? I mean, and look at the buildings they chose. Oh, my God. But all, these are all abandoned or all at least not used anymore as lunatic asylums. Look at the brickwork up here. So this is the question, right? They tell us all built 1800s to house lunatics. Um, I'm not sure if that's a story of all of them. Um, no doubt some they say they built and then repurposed. But most of them, to you know, to get their narrative, to keep that up to date, they would have to say that they were built for, you know, to be a lunatic asylum. This is another mud flutter. And then the story we get, you know, the of the lunatics who was going in there it was all pretty much mothers right when you really look into it, it was pretty much just um women who got either got pregnant when they were young um or who you know were married with children and their husbands died or left them and they became these you know, sort of destitute women they just throw them in these places and lock them up and no doubt well that will we know they also took their kids right which turned into the orphans which then got shipped around the realm but look, this is a castle. Look at this. Lunatic asylum. All right, so there we go. Now, this is just to show you what went on, right? I mean, we know. Shows a few things here. Look at this. Look at, look at the size of this, right? 1790s. Yeah, I was just going to show you these crazy people, right? They were just getting these people who weren't handling things very well and no doubt it's because of the trauma they'd been put through like these are probably all orphans and yeah they just threw them into these places you know we have all these movies like one flew over the cuckoo's nest this is how they were you know they didn't look after them at all you can see they all look like they're starving and um when they were most probably doing experiments on them because the other thing about lunatic asylums is they tend to be haunted buildings now, which means what was going on and what is haunting? Because a lot of these places as well, they have these, you know, laboratory type things, right? They tell us it's all about, you know, doctors and mental health, but we know that they were doing um, experiments on them, right? All this shock treatment and different drugs. Look at this, man. This is inside an asylum. But... I just wanted to show you. See here again, right? All the nurses and that. This is how you help crazy people. You hold them down and shove shit down their throat. Look at this dude. Is that is that a plunger on his head? I don't know. But um, no doubt. I don't know if that's 
it looks like the death chair, but I mean, it's at least some kind of electric shock, right? It's not looking too happy about it. Schools as well. This is another thing. Um, schools as well, like where a lot of them were just orphanages and hospitals. A lot of them were asylums, right? Just with different names. Ah, oh, the good old straight jacket. Ward for females. Oh, that's another thing they did is they always separated the males from the females. Look at these. They're all... She's half naked in a straight jacket and she looks fully naked. God, I don't know what's going on with that body. It looks like E.T. So we have these you know, orphans, right? And then the ones who don't, you know, they all get thrown into be, to be workers and the ones who don't take it well get thrown into asylums, right? And, and then by basically used as experiments by the looks of it. And then, you know, we know what goes on, what, what we've learned in the last couple of years. So this is probably what was going on with all these unfortunate people. Oh,